the Cambridgeshire is next big old handicap. This in the first part, of course, of the old autumn double. It's a nine furlong, not to one ten. Ithaca Circle, Vinnie Geron, Ozzy Anshan, and Medina Spirit, Dan Hughes, Star Attraction, Daniel French, Penny Lane, Padre Hogan, Missiles Locked, Paul Rhodes, Bits and Pieces, Leon Van Rensburg, Great Myasta, Darren Thompson, Speed King, Daniel French, Mange 2, Martin Lidham, Welsh Rabbit, Derek Hinton, Grand Forks, Great Vinnie Gerard, Laddies, Glider, James Shea, Magnus Mohea, Paul Rhodes, Call of the Storm, Martin Lidham, Astrid Lansoff, Padre Hogan, Professor Shamali, Derek Hinton, Admiring Mayhem, Leon Van Rensburg, Moonshine, Craig Beckwith, Babylon and Mountain Guest, Paul Parsons and Fox on the run, Alex Cherry, 22 runners in the Cambridgeshire, this is what we want to see, this is what we like, 22 runners in the Cambridgeshire, just like it would be in real life and some top class horses at the top who are pretty much close to group standard and they're away and racing and Going to be the first one to get out and lead. Looks like Magnus Mohair and Penny Lane pulling for his head there. Morge too. The one that's going to race all on its own looks like it's going to be Ithaca Circle. So Ithaca Circle's come down to this side and he's racing all by itself. It's a straight track, so that's not going to be the problem. The problem's going to be it's not going to really know where it is. It might get a bit lonely, but it's Medina Spirit who's gone on into the lead right over on the far side. It's also going to be awkward for the camera right now because he's going to stay panned right out to keep this Grand Forks great in shot but it's Medina Spirit who's clear and not going to help if we keep changing sides to be honest Medina Spirit is in the lead and it looks like second place might well be bits and pieces down this side then Missiles Lock Star Attraction up the centre of the track Grand Forks great over on the far side he's definitely at the business end of the race Monge 2 in the stripes is after that one but it's still Medina Spirit with four and a half furlongs to go Medina Spirit's in the lead Magnus Mohair and then Missiles Lock Monge 2 Still trying to come through bits and pieces. Star Attraction, Penny Lane trying to get into it as well. Well, it's Medina Spirit who's got the lead from Mange 2 right over on the far side. Further still wide, of course, on that far rail is Ithaca Circle. There's, no, that's Ithaca Circle coming to the centre of the track. The one on the far side, of course, was the other Vinnie Gerard horse. Grand Forks Great, who's now dropping back. But it's Medina Spirit who's in the lead. Ithaca Circle has gone into second. Penny Lane is in third. Then Bits and Pieces, Star Attraction. Laddie's Gilder is after that, then Great Myasta Speed King is making a bit of ground as well. There's a furlong to go, and Medina Spirit is now being collared by Ithaca Circle. Laddie's gl Glider is next, then Penny Lane and Speed King after that. Great Myasta and Star Attraction, but Ithaca Circle has gone on, and Ithaca Circle is going to take it. Ithaca Circle wins. It might even have been a warm two for Village and hard to tell from the angle. Messy race, really, with the constant angle changing, but it's a win for Vinnie Gerard. Ithaca Circle at a big price Speed King second so Ithaca Circle for Vinnie Gerard the winner the top weight as well I think Speed King for Daniel French was second Penny Lane Padre Gogan third Grand Forks Great Vinnie Gerard again fourth and Great Myasta for Darren Thompson was fifth